Welcome back to This Day in Scottish History. I'm your host, Colin MacDonald. Today, we journey back to November 27th, 1882, to examine one of the most tragic and impactful events in Scotland's railway history, the Inverithan Rail Accident, this disaster which occurred on the Great North of Scotland railway line between Ochterlis and Fivey in Aberdeenshire, serves as a grim reminder of the vulnerabilities in early engineering and the profound consequences of hidden flaws. On that fateful day, a mixed freight and passenger train was travelling along a single track railway when tragedy struck. The train consisted of five loaded wagons and four passenger carriages. As the locomotive passed safely over a cast iron underbridge, a 39 by 15 foot structure spanning a road, one of the bridge's girders suddenly gave way. While the engine and its crew survived the crossing, the rest of the train plunged into the gap left by the collapsed girder, falling onto the road below. The accident claimed the lives of four passengers instantly. A fifth succumbed to injuries shortly thereafter and 14 others sustained serious wounds. The collapse not only shattered the lives of those aboard, but sent shockwaves through Scotland and beyond, prompting an immediate investigation into the causes of the catastrophe. The Board of Trade conducted a meticulous inquiry into the accident led by Major F.A. Marindine. Their findings revealed a sobering truth. The collapse was caused by a casting defect in one of the girders, a flaw that had lain undetected for 25 years. The defect, a large internal void known as a blowhole, had significantly weakened the girder. This imperfection, hidden behind a layer of seemingly sound metal, measured approximately six inches in length and extended deeply into the structure. The surrounding material, though appearing robust, had been compromised during the manufacturing process, leading to uneven tensile strength and creating conditions ripe for a catastrophic failure. Adding to the structural weakness, residual stress within the girder, caused by uneven cooling during casting, further undermined its integrity. Over time, a small crack had begun to grow, exacerbated by the stresses of regular use. On November 27th, 1882, that crack reached its breaking point. The immediate response involved a survey of all cast iron bridges on the Great North of Scotland railway network. Of the 331 such bridges, only eight were of a similar double girder construction to the one at Inverithan. These were inspected and swiftly replaced, though the process caused significant disruption to railway traffic. Warnings were circulated across Britain to other railway companies, urging them to inspect and, where necessary, replace cast iron under bridges. Despite these precautions, it wasn't until the Norwood Junction Rail accident in 1891, a similar failure caused by a cast iron girder fracture, that significant regulatory changes were enacted. The Inverithan Rail accident highlighted the inherent risks in relying on cast iron for critical infrastructure. Though widely used in the 19th century for its low cost and ease of production, cast iron's brittleness and susceptibility to hidden flaws rendered it a hazardous material for high stress applications. The disaster accelerated the transition to wrought iron and later steel, which offered greater ductility and reliability. The accident also underscored the importance of rigorous material testing and regular inspections. The flaws in the Inverithan Bridge were invisible to the naked eye during routine checks, prompting engineers and regulators to consider more advanced diagnostic techniques. As we reflect on the events of November 27, 1882, we are reminded of the delicate balance between progress and safety in the industrial age. The Inverithan rail accident serves not only as a historical tragedy, but as a crucial turning point in engineering practices. The lives lost that day 
were not in vain. Their memory is etched into the reforms and innovations that followed, ensuring safer travel for future generations. Thank you for joining us on This Day in Scottish History. I'm Colin MacDonald and I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for another journey through the past. Until then, stay safe and as we say in Scotland, haste ye back.